As I promised, I'd let you know who I was, how this came to be, and the wonderful events that took place where many strangers came together to help bring you and your children a very nice Christmas. Our paths crossed because you answered a Craigslist ad I posted to have Santa call your house. In your email, you shared with me many facts about your family, including that your youngest is autistic, your daughter has diabetes, and all three of your kids were aware that they were getting nothing for Christmas this year because money was just simply too tight. You asked that Santa call your kids and tell them that he is going to bring them love and happiness into the new year. And you asked me for nothing else. Your email left me stunned, saddened, and ashamed. See, Bo, originally I placed those ads to help build up material for a prank call show that I do on Friday nights. I guess I was hoping to mess with parents as an undesirable Santa or something, but all I really ended up with was a list of numbers of parents who would love nothing more than to see the faces of their kids as Santa called them at home. And, well, of course, your letter where a mother of three was trying to scrape together anything she could to make it feel like Christmas for her and her children. After reading your email, the first thing I did was take down my calls from Santa ads. My heart just couldn't take a, another email like yours. Plus, the idea for the prank seemed cruel and not funny anymore. I thought, maybe I should try and help. I do a show on a website called Madhouse Live, and I have like 50 to 70 people that listen every week that might be willing to help too. So I took this idea to some of the people that run the website, and they loved it. They, they loved the idea to try to help a family. The only stipulation was I had to make sure that you were not a fraud. As I'm sure you remember, I called you with a lot of questions and even offered to send you some homemade Christmas crafts from my son. You seemed very touched that I would do such a thing, and that convinced me that you were really a person in need. After all, if you were a scammer, you would not care about things that only have sentimental value. At the end of our conversation, you asked me if I would still call your children as Santa. I agreed to do so. After all, that is the one thing you actually asked me for. And from that point on, I was on a mission. I only had four days to save your Christmas, but I knew I could count on my show and the listeners to get us there. My show went well. I ran it in a telethon-like format where I would tell everyone your story exactly the way you told it to me, ask the listeners to dig deep, and then do some entertaining calls for everyone. A couple of other people who do shows on Madhouse, Lux and Turbo, put the goal out to the listeners that if we raised $400, that they would do a 24-hour live marathon as a gift back for everyone's donations. It was a bittersweet moment for them when they learned at the end of the night that they would have to honor that 24-hour show. Another Madhouse duo, Ice Goose and Sloth, had promised to do one minute of calls for every dollar raised. These incentives did help push people to donate, but ultimately the grand buildup that everyone was waiting for was during the fourth hour when I broke the format of my show to fulfill my promise to you by calling your children as Santa. I called and talked to your youngest son and daughter, and I have to admit, you were absolutely right when you called them wonderful children. They both laughed at my horrible Santa impression, but never called me out on it. And when I asked them what they wanted for Christmas, they didn't even ask for much. I think it's safe to assume that the listeners felt the same way because within 10 minutes after that call, we had 13 separate donations roll in. We hit a total that I didn't even imagine we would get near. And besides the money, we received a ton of well wishes from people who wanted to give but couldn't but just wanted to show their support. I can't even say how proud I really am of everyone and their efforts to help out you and your family this Christmas. I know you would like to thank me for all that you received, but this was truly a group effort. Although most of the time, the communities of PLA, Madhouse, and my show, Phone Larking, are ones that bring unruliness and confusion, this time they brought love and happiness. And if I'm not mistaken, Bo, isn't that all you really wanted for Christmas? Merry Christmas from the Madhouse family to yours.